All right, hello everybody. You, uh, my name is Helian, and you're today you're watching the Meat Lovers. Right. I recently purchased this game called H1C1. It's a new zombie RPG survival game made by Sony Online Entertainment. It's the same guys who um who put out Planet Side, Planet Side Two. I think it's uh, it's running on the same tech as well, right, the world server and all that. So, this is an early access game, and that is made very clear by the developers as well. Like every screen you go into, there's a giant early access sign everywhere. So they really want to make sure you know this is early access. So of course, when it's early access, there's going to be a lot of bugs. There's going to be some gameplay. Day disruptions and it's gonna be not everything is implemented yet but um, yeah so far I'm not sure what to think of this cuz yeah but my plan right now is I just spawned in like five minutes ago I walked around for a bit and then it rained for three seconds there's some real gross rain by the way look terrible I'm gonna go down and loot these houses So, the, ga the game came out, e I don't know, this week, earlier this week, I think. So, yeah, it's it's really in the early, early stages of the early access. And I have been trying to uh, get in a server for two hours, I think. It's a, but, oh, that's an axe, Jesus. It's red, what does that mean? It's durability. Oh, it's, al it's almost broken. Well, an axe is an axe, I guess. Let's go see if we can chop some guys down. I'm not a butt thirsty guy, I just um, like chopping things. Let's check the dumpsters. Why the hell am I checking the dumpsters? There's nothing in the dumpster. But uh, there, I have I have encountered some bugs. For exa example, if I I tried to join the server, and uh, it put me in a queue, and it told me I would have to wait for like five hours before I could join. I was like, fuck this shit. I'm just finding another server. Like, then I quit the queue, but then the game wouldn't allow me to join another server. The join button just s stayed grey. So then I had to close down the game, open it up again, and what the fuck is an arrow? I'll take that. Oh, no, 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 take that as well. Yeah, probably for arrows. But, um, then I reopened the game and joined another server. And I had the same issue. At the time I was number 150 in the queue. Is this a backpack? Yes. That's what we want. Do I, do I, is it on right away? Yeah, it's yes, good. But this time I just, uh, just waited. Just took a nap. Well, well, wait. It still took it about, uh, I don't know, two hours before I could join. So, either there's a lot of p people playing this. I think there's a lot of people playing this. So this game has been really hyped. Because, um, finally, there's a, a major studio making, um, I guess, su survival open world RPG. Bohemia Interactive, they're, they're good. This is just a small studio. They're making the DC standalone and all that. But, still, oh, there's an empty bottle, I think. Nice, purified water. That's a minor studio, and of course they have a lot of bugs, and oh, they still haven't fixed to this day. It, it has become a lot better, but still. And then there's the guy who made the the War C, who's now known as the Infestation Survivor Stories. As a the amount of shit you can put in one game, or I should rather say the amount of hackers you can put in one game. If you're not, if you're just a casual player playing War C. I am um, feel for you, bro. If you're a hacker playing War C, then stay there, keep at it. Just keep ha hacking that shit. The rest of us will go play something else. I, I think Tetris is a better is a better way to spend your time than that. Is this a bottle? State of water. There's this pipe. Let's take that as well. Crowbar. I'm gonna yeah. Moving on. So, finally, yeah, Sony Online Entertainment, they, I, because it's a, it's Sony, 
So, I expect all of the bugs in this game to be fixed over time. Is it? Yeah, because they have they actually have the money to do so. Have the money and the resources. But at at the very moment, the this game is really buggy. For example, if I try to loot something, sometimes I just can't loot it. And other times, just when I start looting it, it just stops again. That just is my issues, and the the AI in this game is um, horrid. I, I can't even. I don't know where to start. It, I have heard it was worse yesterday, but I think it just stopped looting it. I think I supposed to moved. Uh, I heard it was worse yesterday, and they patched it recently. Uh, my experience is still yeah, horrible, absolutely horrible. See, why, why is there nothing in any of these things? Has this already been looted? Actually, I really think the loot drops uh, and the resource you find in this game are really scarce. There's, there's almost nothing in this game. It is for early access, so I can I can't forgive it for not having anything. The Daisy standalone didn't have any loot either at all when it first came out. Fix that over time. Oh, I can I can drink some drink dirty water. Ah, let's do it. Oh, that I took damage from that. Let's drink some more of it. Took more damage. Drink more. I'm just gonna stop there. Let's eat some berries as well. I think I have some berries. Black berries. Eat them. Yeah. I'm a dirty vegan. Drinking dirty water and eating blackberries. Alright, as you can see down down in the corner, I have my um, all my bars of shit. There's my stamina, there's my, I think there's my energy. Yeah, that's my measure of my endurance. Uh, my hydration, that's how thirsty I am. My energy is, I think, my food levels. If I eat some blackberries, it should go up a bit. Yeah, by 2%. Oh my god, 2%. And then it's my health. At pretty much, so uh, that explains itself. Moving on. So we have all we have these four bars, but I don't want to look at them. I just click F to remove them just to add the immersion to that for not having any bars, having no HUD at all. Oh no, I have a HUD. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Oh, nothing. Stop sign. Let's say. Oh, let's, let's Can I pick this up? No. Now is the big question. Where the hell should I go? Oh, another bug I encountered. Um, I I tried to open a door. What what the fuck is that? Is that a pig? Not there's animals in this game, but oh, there we go. That's a wolf. George, it die! I want your f I want your mate. Jesus, come come back here, what the Come back here! Damn it! Filthy beast! Get back here! Ah Yeah! Get wrecked by my axe, you dirty fiend! Yeah! That ah, I hope you like that. Yeah! Talk to the fist. Wait, can I do anything about this then? Or did I just Murder and defensive animal. Animal fat. Oh, I need to do this. Wolf meat. Animal fat and wolf meat. All right. That's that's cool. That's the first animal I've encountered. What the fuck is that? Is that a bear? A rabbit. Oh no, I can't catch that. The fuck. All right, these brushes here. Brushes are. They, these are blackberry brushes. I can I can go and uh, loot them to get some berries. I have encountered sometimes when I do this, my, my frame rate drops by quite a bit. I get massive frame drops when I loot them. Because cause the, the, the entire brush just disappears. I see, can I, can I? Yeah, see, I'm having the frame drops. Then, uh, these berries they don't give you a lot of food, but it's really good to, to get them, just to keep you alive. Also, if you're a vegan, uh, vegan and then you can just eat berries, stay alive forever. Eat berries and drink dirty water. That's a, so far, this is one of the best hippie simulators I've ever played. If you just forget everything about that poor wolf I murdered, let's not talk about that. Another wolf. 
Actually, I'm gonna leave, leave him be. Run, Lassie, run! Before I change my mind. Right, let's... Uh, actually, let's go cut down a tray. Let's just put the, um, the hippie inside me away for a bit. Just wanted to see how it is. Stupid wolf. He's still here. Yeah, yeah, ho, oh, back at you. Say, so, cut this tree. Oh. Ah, nice. They, they got a completely new animation for this. Cutting down the tree. Cutting down the tree. Not really getting anything out of this. Come on. Come on. Woodlocks. Four. Oh! Nice! Can I keep cutting it for more wood? No, I cannot. Alright, I took down a tree. Let me get some more berries. Awesome. What the fuck? No! No! Alright, the tree disappeared. Alright, it seems like I'm stuck in this hole. Another bug. Can I get it out? Oh, come on. Come on, show us your jumping skills. Yeah. How I get out of that, I don't know. Yeah, that's also a weird hole. Was it the tree who made that? Yeah. Oh, my stamina is really low. Let's see, how was... Let's see... How did I... To move more slowly, it just regens. Let's, let's eat some berries. I don't know how to get more of these. Crate. The, the, uh, the cr this crate contains skins for various types of items you'll find in this world. Be lost on death, the other than forever. Right, open crate with key. There's something I got when I bought the game. Uh, there's a really big pay to win element over this game. You can, you can see there's these airdrop tickets, event tickets, and crate keys. You can buy more. Actually, if I open up this. Um, the game window. There's a marketplace. It's just like in the um, plant side, there's these station coins, station cash, and you can buy airdrops. Airdrops are just um, this pla these planes coming in and dropping you, dropping your items, weapons, food, just basic supplies you need to survive or murder other players. That's a. To be honest, I I like it because then I can get get a gun and start murdering people right away. But at the same time, pay to win in a survival RPG. That's just that's just bad. That's just bad game design. Come on, people. The guy with the most money, or not? Actually, the guy with the most money probably had the most guns. So this was real. God damn it! You fuck your realism. So in this game, it's not good. You don't want that. The, the, we don't want the kid who stole his mom's credit card to win. We want the, the hardcore survivor, who are best at scavenging, we want that guy to win. Also, the, the, there's some battle royale tickets, so you need tickets to enter the, um, the PvP mode in this game. Except for the just regular roaming around murdering stuff. Oh, it's rain. it's raining in. But you, you need to buy these tickets to enter the battle royale. Now, see, that's also extremely stupid. So they need to remove the pay to win element. And they need to make the battle royale just interval. I'm not sure that's a word. They need to be able to play that right away. It's gonna make some more berries. Yeah, the frame drop. My frames are dropping. My frame rate's worst enemy. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And apparently Blackberry Brushes. Yeah. We have some water. Can I put this? No, I could not. God damn it. Worst drinking simulator ever. I have no idea where I'm going. More berries. Alright, there is, there's no map in this game. You, c you can always go on, uh, go into Google and just look for a map there. Still, if it, even if I found a map there, I would still have no idea where I am. 
the map is uh, quite huge. So this is like a kill zone. Snipers over there. More morons with guns over there. And I'm just running out around here like a retard. Wait, is that? Is that some stuff over there? Yeah, there is. More shit to loot! Hooray! So much running. So much doing nothing. I love these type of games. Who needs fast paced action and cooler dudes? Or great storytelling from some of the latest RPGs? Who cares? We just want this. Looting. And zombies with horrible AI. Hello, mate. Yeah, do some dancing, that's right. Hello? No! Get away from me. Bastard. The hell where are you going? Where are you going, John? 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 Oh Jesus, John! No. Hello, John. John, I give up. Don't hurt me. Oh Jesus, John is mad! Take those hands down, you idiot! How do I take my hands down? Oh, John, one of your friends just appeared. Where, where did John go? Is that John? No, that's not John. Not more arrows. Pick him up. I just need a bow. John, what the hell are you doing down there? Come on, give me a bow. They went the bow or a hunting rifle. Jesus, there's a lot of arrows in the air. That's another bug. Floating arrows. I actually come uh, come across a lot of these. With some more baddies. Hey John. Jesus. So as I told you, the the AI is really bad. Right, some of the things they told to the people uh, when the devs showed this off for the first time, they were that uh, the AI actually would actually be good. It would react to sounds and uh, just stuff near them. They are reacting, that's for sure, but what the hell is that guy doing? But as you can see, uh, it's not perfect. Why did it, why did these campers bring so many arrows but no bows? Search the wrecked truck. How does how did this truck get wrecked in the first place? Ha, I'm not sure if I haven't read enough about this universe. Because it, it seems like the zombie apocalypse have been going on for like, I don't know, 80 billion years. Because everything is just totally rotten and almost gone and there's no nothing almost no food to find anywhere. So I think everything has just disappeared. Disintegrated or something. Let's see. Alright, I find a lot of arrows. I'm sure I can I can't do this for shit at the moment. I just want a bow. Or a gun. A gun would be awesome. You know what? Fuck these guys. See ya, John. You and your creepy ass brothers. Oh my god, is that a bear? Alright. Let's do this, man. Let's do this, boys. Let's show this bear what a hippie can do. Yar! Time to. We will eat bear tonight. Uh. Hit that bear butt. Hit that bear butt. Uh. Yeah. Get wrecked, bear. Get wrecked. Hunting Simulator 2014. No! The... You died. Apparently, the bear butt is apparently the most dangerous thing in this game. Because as you can see, the, the bear's ass apparently had a reactive field. So the moment I hit it, the ass back. Well, that was H1C1. I hope I have given you a bit, a bit of insight about this game. To be honest, I, I don't think you should purchase this yet. I think you should give it some time. May I make the devs update it a bit? Add some more features, fix the absolutely horrible AI. If they do all that, 
I think we have a good game here because the because the controls are way more simple than uh, the one in DayZ. I know people like the complicated uh, controls and all that, but this is a, a, a lot more people will be able to play this. And because it's Sony, I think they'll be able to come deal with the hackers quite well. I've, I've never experienced any hackers in Planet so I just experienced one at one point, but the one hacker against a billion of hackers in uh, infestation. Yeah, you can, you can see the difference. So, yeah, don't buy this yet. Just, but still, if you're into this franchise, into the looting, the RPG, and all that, then look out for this game. Follow up on it, I don't know, once a month or something, to see if it can fix something. Some of the crap. And there's a lot of crap. Well, Alright, I, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.